Hi everyone, welcome back to another edition of videos and today I've got another really beautiful puzzle for you. This is another checkmate in two puzzle, white to move. Just obviously let you know black is going down the board, so this pawn is going downwards and white is going up the board. So that obviously will help you maybe in the solution as well. Okay, so see if you can solve it, white to move and checkmate in only two moves. Okay, so this is a really nice puzzle. This particular one uh, comes from Sam Lloyd, who published this in 1859 in the Musical World magazine. Uh, Sam Lloyd, as you probably might be aware, I've already featured him on this channel. He is a very famous uh, chess composer. He's actually done hundreds and hundreds of very beautiful chess puzzles. He's also well known for um, uh, creating puzzle books, and that's actually what he's more well known for. Um, is there's even, I believe, an award that's given out every year to celebrate his life by uh, people who try and make really beautiful puzzles and uh, they call it the Sam Lloyd Award to uh, kind of do various, various different mathematical problems, various other things to uh, then test your puzzling com uh, composing skills. So anyway, this is a really nice one, Checkmate and Two. So I think, as I say, with this particular one, uh, the difficulty comes in how we can really do anything against black here. Uh, black has got some useful uh, defensive moves here, and namely because of this pawn. Uh, I know that sounds a bit strange because the pawn's got nowhere it can go to, but it links up very nice with this particular bishop, so they can create these very nice barriers uh, that makes it very difficult to then be delivering checkmate in two. So, just to show you a failed solution. If let's say the queen comes to h4, delivers a check, doesn't really matter, the king just goes to g1. Uh, doesn't really lead us anyway, you know, black can just defend this quite nicely. There's no checkmate in two, maybe checkmate, I don't know, probably in four moves or something or, or whatever, but there's not going to be a checkmate in sight. So it does make things a little bit difficult. Uh, for white here. So how does he go about winning this? Well, with a lot of these different puzzles, a lot of these very difficult checkmate in two puzzles, quite often the solution uh, tends to be a, a very, very, very cute waiting move. And uh, this particular puzzle is no exception. There's a very nice waiting move here. Now, you might be thinking, well, what about a move like maybe king to d2 or something? That looks like a pretty good waiting move. Again, there's problems with this particular one. Black has got this very useful defensive resource. It's not, it's impossible to deliver a checkmate into here now, as uh, there's nothing, you know, black is not in no threat of being checkmated here at all. So, going back, white needs to find a spectacular way to move, and that spectacular way to move is the move rook to e1. And probably surprised you, you probably didn't expect this particular move. But this is the problem for black. He is in what we love to call in the chess one, in the puzzle world, a zugzwang. Yeah, I love that German word. So what is a zugzwang? Well, a zugzwang is where we put ourselves in a position where we would rather pass our turn than make a move. And unfortunately, black, he probably would want to pass his turn because every move he'll make here will lead to a checkmate. So... Let's go through the most obvious move. Now, you're probably thinking this move is totally crazy. How is this going to lead to a checkmate in two? Well, after the king takes on e1, which you probably will assume is the most popular, uh, most, most logical move, we're going to win a rook here. White has got checkmate in two. A nice kiss of death checkmate here on d2. The king has got nowhere to go. Going back. What else can black do here? Well, the problem for black is he's got no more legal king moves here. His king can't go to any of these squares. This pawn blocks him, this bishop blocks him, and we've already discussed what happens when he takes the rook. So the king's got nowhere to go. The pawn has got nowhere to go. So we've only got this bishop left. And unfortunately for black, wherever this bishop goes, it will be checkmate. So if it goes anywhere along this diagonal, let's say, I don't know, it goes up to I don't know, A6 or somewhere, or anywhere along this diagonal. Black has got a simple checkmate move here. Queen to D, G1 checkmate. Very, very nice. Now you might be asking yourself though, okay, well, the queen can go down to here, but what if I move my bishop to G2? Now it looks like I'm stopping this idea here. Well, 
black has then got the very, very nice move, queen to h4, checkmate. Very nice, combining the rook and the queen to deliver a checkmate against the black king. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this particular video. I hope you liked this puzzle by Sam Lloyd. Uh, I have, as I say, featured a couple, I think, uh, a couple of, other of his puzzles on my channel, so do check them out if you can. If you, can. Uh, if you like this video, make sure you give it a like, and if you want to see more videos like this, make sure you subscribe to the channel and click that notification bell. In any case, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you very, very soon. Take care.